Okay, take a look at this video. First responders on Friday morning were battling an apartment fire in East Austin caused by a lithium ion battery charging in an electric bike. E-bikes and scooters may be popular gifts for this time of year, so we wanted to speak with the Austin Fire Department about these devices and how you can help prevent these types of fires. So joining us this morning is Captain Sean Cummings. Captain, welcome back to our show and thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I gotta tell you, I love Christmas and I love talking about fire safety, so it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> it's a good combo then right. to have you on the show. So uh, what do people really need to know about safety before they give any of these kinds of gifts with these types of batteries? Well, there's really three main things that we need to pay attention to. One is before you buy. Whenever we purchase our products, we need to make sure that they've been tested by UL or ETL. These are third party laboratories that test for minimum safety standards. Now, once you've purchased that, there's some more things you need to do. Hmm. Uh, the second thing would be to perform regular safety checks for damage. So these batteries, when they become damaged, can really cause problems with fire and, and also uh, hazardous gases and toxins. Yeah. So a uh, regular check to make sure that they're not cracked uh, make sure they're not bulged and misshapen. Also want to check to make sure that the batteries aren't overheated and that um, they don't have any strange odors coming from them. All of those are signs that they're beginning to fail. Something might not be right. Correct. Okay. I want to ask you at the very beginning, you were talking about what to look for when purchasing. Is there a messaging that people can expect on packages or where do you guide them to look for that indicator that those have been tested properly? So you can check the back of the packaging that comes on. Uh, usually there's some sort of indicator there. Also, if the product is outside of its package, you'll actually see either a sticker or an etch mark into the mm -hmm. battery itself that shows that it's been tested. Okay, something to look for, especially if you've already bought some things on the Christmas list this year. Uh, we want to kind of get some insight onto fighting these kinds of fires. What kind of unique challenges are there when it comes to trying to put them out when they do happen? Well, one of the biggest challenges we have is uh, with thermal runaway. So thermal runaway, the product begins to heat up and then because of the chemistry and the way it's made, it feeds on itself and that, that heat increases over time. Hmm. Now, whenever it catches fire, sometimes it can be like a simple flame, but sometimes it's almost explosive like a firework. We can put these out, but when thermal runaway happens, it can actually reignite up to 24 hours after we've extinguished it. So there's a lot of watching and waiting to make sure it's completely extinguished. And because of these batteries being used in more and more products, are you all as the fire department training to be able to handle that and address some of those challenges? We are. Our regular operations units uh, continually practice and train on the methods to put those out. We submerge a lot of the batteries for extended periods of time. Hmm. We also have special equipment, different nozzles that help cool quicker. Uh, we even have a blanket that we can put over uh, electric vehicles that help to extinguish the fire and keep those gases from going places we don't want them to go. Right. Yeah. Any other tips for folks on these kinds of batteries as far as storing them, disposing of them? Are there any other best practices? Absolutely. So when, anytime we're using our batteries, a lot of people want to charge them overnight. Don't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. They can become overheated and that's a lot of times when the fire started. So uh, whenever you charge them, the key things I want you to pay attention to is where you're charging. You need to keep the batteries away from doors, windows, and hallways. And the reason we do that is if it catches fire, you still need an escape route out of your structure. Hmm. Uh, the second thing is when you plug those into the wall, make sure they're actually in the outlet and not into an extension cord. Those can also become overheated and cause fire. Well, Captain Sean Cummings, we so appreciate all this information. Hopefully that resounds with a lot of people sitting at home who might be giving something with a gift containing one of those batteries mm -hmm. this uh, in the next few days. So uh, thank you again for joining us. My pleasure. We always appreciate it.